Hey there and welcome, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I want to show you how you can send notifications in your textual apps. So you can create, you can actually create little toast notifications that show up in your application and I'll show you how to do it. Let me just show you, okay, so this is textual version not 0.43 just for historical reference. Now what we'll do is we'll just create a very simple app so the notifications app is an app that doesn't compose anything. So this is the skeleton of the app, right? So notifications app. Right. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll create a binding that sends a notification when you press the letter N. So N uh, notify or notification. Right. So action notification, what does it do? Send a notification, all you need to use is the method notify. So self.notify, in here you type the message, so this is a notification, and this is enough, this is already enough. So I'm, I save the application, now let's run it. My app.py, and now if I press N, the notification shows up at the bottom. And if you click a notification, you dismiss it. And eventually, if you just wait for a bit, you can see my hands here, they just disappear. Now, you can customize these notifications further. You can go ahead and the notify method also accepts a title parameter. So this is the title, which will show up in bold with the color of the notification. So this is the title. And there are three levels of notifications. The by default, when you notify, you have the most basic level. But you can also emit warnings. So let's create a warning when we press W. So let's see def action warning. So you you do self dot notify. You still do self dot notify, but what you do now is so this is a warning you use the severity parameter and you set it to, and you can see here, there's three severity levels. By default, we have information. The next level is warning, which will show an orange notification, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, this will run. If I press W, I get a warning. You can see there's an orange um, bar there. And you can also issue error notifications. So error. Def action error self and you still use the notify method. Let's insert a an explosion here. This is an error. Severity equals error. And this will show a red notification. If I press E, I see error notifications. Now Obviously, most of the time you won't want your notifications to show up when you press key bindings, but in the flow of your application, you can use dot .notify to notify the user of several things. And if you want to change it, you can also use the timeout parameter. I think I'm not entirely sure. I think by default it's something like two seconds, but you can change it for you can change it to whatever you want. So, for example, timeout equals sixty. I'll create an error, a couple of them, and then some warnings and some notifications and you will see that the warnings and notifications got dismissed much sooner than the errors which again you can dismiss by clicking so if you click it you dismiss it so these were the basics of sending notifications in your application i'll link the documentation and the code below and if you have any questions just leave a comment or better yet join our discord server where you can you, you just you can get help directly from us sorry about the english um, yeah, so thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.